I placed an order with Vitacost just a few days ago, and it is already here, which I'm thrilled about. Um, I don't regularly order from Vitacost, uh, but I'm signed up uh, for emails, and I received an email the other day. I don't receive emails from them very often, but I received one the other day that said uh, that they were, I would say, like 15% off, and I could get free shipping. Well, anytime someplace offers me free shipping, I'm, I'm usually all in because that's where places normally lose me is with the shipping. I can go through the whole process of picking out stuff and putting it in my cart, and then I, once I find out how much shipping is, I forget it. So, uh, I was thrilled to death when they said free shipping. And if I don't have, I don't see any paperwork, maybe it's in the bottom. I was gonna say, I will tell you, I will tell you how much all this cost me. Um, let me make sure it's all okay. It, I think that, yeah, the, the, uh, the uh, invoice is in the very, very bottom of the box. But I ordered something, I'm stocking up on something that I've been out of for a while. And when I order these, um, I get, uh, quite a few for me uh, just because I don't want to have to pay shipping I don't want to have to go through the process of getting them again uh, and I'm the only one that uses these so look how well they package this this came in a roll like this and then they put them in Ziploc bags these are the Walden Farms I ordered blueberry strawberry and then I ordered one of the regular ones. I was going to order the walnut flavor. I think it's walnut flavor instead of the regular. Uh, because it tastes, to me, it tasted more regular than regular did. Uh, however, I did not see that they had the walnut. So this is another blueberry. I think I ordered nine total. I believe I ordered four blueberry, four strawberry, and one regular. So this means uh, that, see I haven't bought, I haven't been buying waffles in a while because once I ran out of this, I, uh, we they do not sell it uh, local here. My favorite is the blueberry and strawberry, Walden Farms. And it's absolutely delicious. And if I can't get it, then I would just assume not buy waffles. That's, that's how funny I am about it. And the only reason I bought regular, uh, a jar of regular, is because I have already seen where like um, the pumpkin spice waffles and stuff are coming out. And I know that I will not want, this, here's a strawberry. I know that I will not want blueberry or strawberry syrup with any kind of flavor. Any kind of, now if that broke, then that's my fault. Uh, any kind of flavor, uh, because it will it will cover up the pumpkin, the pumpkin spice. So I would just rather have regular syrup. Why can I not get this open? You know, it'd be easier if I just used that knife, wherever that knife is, to open all of these. Where did I put that knife? Did it go back here? Oh, what did I do with the knife? Okay, ah, I see it. Yeah, it might be easier if I just do this. That way, I don't have to fight. Yeah, there's the strawberry and it's fine. I didn't break it, thank the Lord. Um, anyway. I, you know, when they come out with some special flavor, you don't want to cover it up uh, with syrup. But now, I love um, just regular waffles. I love to um, use this with it. And the other Walden Farms products, I'm sorry, I do not like them. I do not like the Salad dressings, oh gosh. If you all can eat those, well then more power to you because I, I can't eat them. I think they're absolutely vile, vile. 
but now I like these syrups and I also like um, somebody who sent me way back uh, some of the strawberry spread and I liked it too it was really good too it tastes just like the um, the syrup only it was like in a jelly um, it was in jelly form. The the only thing I would say about the um, using it like that is that I think it goes quicker. I think it goes quicker in the jelly form than it does in just the syrup. Because I put mine, if you've ever seen my What I Ate Wednesdays when I've had these, I put mine in a little bowl on the side and then I dip my, um, my waffle into it and I don't, I don't waste any that way. Okay, this should be it. What is in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is none. Okay. I can't count. Well, I'll tell you what now. I, you couldn't ask for better packaging. And to get this free shipping, I mean, that just... That, that is just the way to, to get me to buy anything is the free shipping. Okay, literally the invoice is on the very bottom of the box. So if you all are interested, uh, I would check out Vitacost. It's V-I-T-A-C-O-S-T. These, the, um, uh, the, see, the total price for four of the blueberry were $14.60. They were $3.65 each. Um, and I looked in our local, um, our Kroger again this week. Uh, Kevin said, let's just look in the store just to see if they've ever gotten them in. They haven't. As a matter of fact, it looked like they were selling what they had off. Uh, but they've never had the blueberry or strawberry. They have only had the regular. So, um, and like the vitamin shop, I don't, I don't think the vitamin shop had these flavors last time we were in there either. Uh, but even if they did, it's a 40 minute trip, you know? Okay, so the blueberry were $3.65 each. The strawberry were $3.79 each. And the regular was $2.98. $2.98, and I know that was over $3 when we did buy it at Kroger, because that's they had the regular. So. Uh, and I got a, I think they sent me a coupon for like 15% off. I'm not sure. It says my total, my grand total was $27.83 for nine bottles of this. So I'm thrilled to death. I think that was a great deal. Um, it will probably take me a while to go through these. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to even be opening these quite yet. I have, I'm trying to go through the, um, the rest of the jams and jellies that we have in the refrigerator. And believe it or not, I don't have that many left. Um, I'm down to, I wanna say I'm down to like two, which is amazing, amazing that I'm down to like two. But I think I only, I'm down to like two and I'm gonna finish up the rest of those and then I'll start on these. And then you'll start seeing uh, waffles in the grocery halls. And as a matter of fact, I might buy some waffles this week just to start saving up for these because I'm, I haven't had waffles in a while, so I'm looking forward to it. But I, I'll tell you what, I have really enjoyed eating toast. I have been eating toast for breakfast for, I guess, a month now at least. And I've loved it. I look forward to it. I want that toast and jam or jelly more than I would want anything else right now. More than I would want a donut or a toaster strudel or a bowl of cereal or a waffle or anything. I've just really been looking forward to that, that toast and jam or jelly. It, I, I love it. So, by the time I'm through with all these bottles, nine bottles, I'll probably ready, be ready to go back to toast. I don't know. Um, but I am looking forward to having some waffles because I haven't uh, had them in a while. And uh, so anyway, I thought I would show you what I ordered from Vitacost and just know that if you sign up for them, I'm sure they'll send you an email just like they sent me. I mean, it may take a while. I don't know how they do that because it was weird that they even sent me one. 
but the free shipping is what did it. So that's uh, because there have been companies I have um, wanted to order these particular bars before and because I really, really like the bars, but it's like, I don't want to pay the shipping for the bars. So it's not worth it to me. Even though I love these bars, I'm not going to pay the shipping for it. We have a few boxes to open. Uh, this one is uh, airmail. It doesn't say where. It doesn't say where. Okay. Flip it up from the This? No. It was ordered from Amazon, I believe. Oh, yeah, we loved these. Stickers left it. Yes, these are awesome. Yes, who sent these? These are so, so, so good. Who in the world ordered these? It says it right Does there. Does it say a name? Right there. Heather. Buyer's name is Heather. I don't want to say your last name. Thank you so much, Heather. These are absolutely phenomenal. I wish we got them here. Uh, I don't know why we don't. They're basically, um, we made a video of them. So if you are if you want to see them, uh, then check out that video. You had them over in London. Yeah, they're basically a bar. Um, like it's an like, oat bar. Like an oat bar, but it's like Snickers. It's got peanuts awesome. and chocolate. We and had caramel. these, not this year, but I, I, actually I don't remember seeing them this year. No, I don't either, so I'm sure. Um, but we saw them the first year we went to London and we went on our bus trip. Uh, that I remember that's when we had these. I yeah. love these. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. That's something I like that. We've had it before, so I get to just enjoy it, you know? So who is this from? This is from Scotland? Ireland. Ireland? I think so. I look to be sure. But I thought it was from Scotland. I look to be sure. Uh, look to be sure. I look to be sure. He's going to look to be sure because... I'm almost positive this was from Ireland. It's from Ireland? Who's it from? Does uh -oh. it No. Kellogg's Country Store. It looks like cereal, but it doesn't feel like cereal. It, it looks... It, it it's does. Really heavy and it's, dense. Yes, it's very. It feels like a box of biscuits. Oh, Heather. Heather. Heather was, ordered this from Amazon for you. Oh well, thank you, Heather. Yeah. So two boxes from from Heather. Um, it it literally feels like a box of biscuits, but I yeah, think it's, it's very, supposed to be cereal. It's a. It's kind of like I think it's gonna end up being more like grape nuts or something like that. It looks good. Are they different flavors or are they the same thing? Oh, it's, yeah, it's, wow, gosh, that's it's heavy. heavy. The box is heavy. That is so. Oh, yeah, that's like granola. It is, that is packed. Do we have anything like that here that's We that? have the granola and grape nuts and things like that. We have I mean, stuff but is like it that. Is that heavy? No, I don't think it's that dense. Wow, well, I can't wait to try that. Country those. store. Country, Kellogg's Country Store. And are they, they're both the same? Maybe she had so. to order two of them. Yeah. Sometimes on Amazon, you have to order two of them uh, for them to ship them. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll definitely do a review of that. Because, um, yeah, that should be good. And I like the boxes, too. The boxes are completely different. Than what we get. Yeah. It has oats, uh, brown sugar, sultanas, hazelnuts, dried apple, uh, honey, it sounds really, really good. And it's from Kellogg's. So that's awesome. Thank you. Okay. This one's from California. Is this from Sarah? Yeah. Nancy. Her mom, Nancy. Her mom always puts her name on the box. She makes her mom go to the post office. <laughs> Sarah says, Mom, go to the post office. So Nancy's going to the post office for Sarah. Sarah is, uh, is my California friend. She found the Twix Dark. We have never found it here. Um, I still haven't seen it, and it is supposed to be a very good candy bar. So thank you very much. And she made I a trip to 7-Eleven. Yes. I remember she told me something that she got me from 7-Eleven. I cannot wait to try it. Okay, these are seven select go yum. This is hazelnut butter filled cookie. This is cookie butter filled cookie. Can't beat that. These are millionaires shortbread cookie. Is this what you're looking for? From yes, someone? yes, that's good. <laughs> a cake, a pie. A pie, birthday cake snack pie. 
I have seen pictures of this beauty, and doesn't that just look beautiful with the, the birthday cake? It does look pretty. I thought it was a taco first, and then. Yeah, taco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cream you cheese. Do I mean, it has uh, cream cheese or See, something. See, we need to travel to the west. Uh, the West Coast so that we can go to Whataburger and 7-Eleven so I can shop. I think it costs more than I want to spend again. Merit Shopping. chocolate blueberries. Now Andrew would like that. Well Andrew can wait in line. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, now we've had some of these before. Yeah. I wonder if these are different. I don't know. Mozart the Yeah, the Beethoven Mozart or we like first that. bought them at Epcot and Disney. And they were ten times more than we a fortune. And then I'm thinking we saw were they in London that we oh saw God. more? Um I don't know if these are, are different. Are they Beethoven or Mozart? I can't remember. One of the two. Um, I will look to see if these are different and if they, they are, look the same. yeah, they do look the same. So I will try to see if, if we try to run sugared walnuts, cinnamon, sugar, and vanilla on our excellent organic walnuts. These are from Hollister, California. I love trying things that are from your area. Oh, and I think the 7 Eleven are all from California, aren't they? No, 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 they're from Texas. Sorry, Irving, Texas. There's no, another Mary. Mary. Chocolate strawberries. I can't wait to try these. I love this brand. This is such a good brand. More 7 Eleven. Okay, this is the 7 Select Go Yum Milk Chocolate S'mores Bar. Sounds good. And Milk Chocolate It's Complicated Bar. <laughs> It's got, look like pretzels and nuts. And Creamy milk chocolate blended with dry peppers? roasted peanuts, pretzels, and a pinch of sea salt, and a kick of hatch chili. Yeah, I thought that was some kind of peppers. Yeah, that's cool. And Uno. That is a different Uno. Rich, creamy chocolate. Yeah, that looks different than what we get. Our Uno bars. I don't know what an Uno looks like. You know about zero. I'm thinking about a zero. Yeah. We've never had an Uno bar. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, literally, I was thinking about Zero's a zero. a weird chocolate bar. See, now, I like zero. I don't like them. They're just weird. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've had an Uno bar. That doesn't sound familiar to me. Annabelle Candy Company. We've had stuff from Annabelle Candy Company. But, we'll have to look. But not this. I know I haven't had that. Okay. The 7 Eleven. These are key lime cream cookies, which sound really good. I bet 7-Eleven likes to see you all coming, getting all these snacks. Yeah, here's, here they come. Coconut chocolate chip cliff bar. Oatmeal raisin wal walnut cliff bar. And then white chocolate macadamia nut. I'm thinking we've tried this. Uh, no, you know what? I think we've had like the long bar. Uh, I don't know that we've had this one. Are these like filled bars? I don't know that we've had that one specifically. And then this is the, ooh, blueberry crisps. That sounds so good. Okay, and then these are Cliff Kid Organic Z Field. These are double peanut butter, apple filled with almond butter, iced oatmeal cookie, and chocolate filled with peanut butter. I'm thinking I took a picture of these on my Instagram in the boxes and Sarah's like, now remember, I bought you those. And I said, it's cool, <laughs> I didn't buy them, so. And these are, um, this is Trader Joe's um, oven baked cheese bites. Made with 100% real cheese. And then these are Trader Joe's mini sugar hearts. And these look like, um, what are those cookies called? Just um, shortbread cookies. Yeah. That looks like a, yeah, a shortbread cookie. Okay, and the, oh, Doritos. Tapito? Tapatio. Tapatio. Doritos Tapatio. Where did you get these? Maybe a 7 Eleven. <laughs> yeah, did you get them at 7 Eleven? It seems like when they're shipped, they go through the airplane, all the air gets like sucked out of them from the pressure. Oh, this is so cool. I've never seen these before. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not to say they're not like something we have here. 
And these were made in Texas, Plano, Texas, but yeah. I don't know why we haven't seen those here. I'm wondering if they're called something else here. We still what can't find them? the extra, extra flaming Hot Cheetos. That's weird. Cannot find them. And Bobby lives in Kentucky. He's my, he my he's had connection in Kentucky. Yeah, he said he, he's had them for a while in, in his uh, town in Kentucky, and we still can't find them here. Our we've town or to, the next town over. We've talked to the guy that does the stocking, though, and I don't. I, he probably just didn't have a play. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, what is this? Uh, Annette's Chocolates. Triple nut. Napa Valley Triple Nut. Kentucky Bourbon. <laughs> Kentucky Bourbon Brittle. Now, where's that from? This should be interesting. I'm sure it's California. Napa, California. Yeah, so Napa Valley. In yeah. Kentucky Bourbon in the California. Yeah, I can't wait to try that. Because you know I love bourbon. Okay. Nature Box. We do not get these in our Target. Um, I know a lot of Targets do, um, and they might get Nature them box. over the one that's like 45 minutes away from us, but they don't in the one that's closest right. to us. We do not get these. Um, these are Asiago and Cheddar Crisps and vanilla bean wafers almost like that and these are southern style nuts vanilla buttercream pecans those sound Isn't absolutely it? wonderful and last thing last thing Ooh. i thought those looked good intamins these are new cinnamon like slice swirl of cake loaf cake raspberry swirl loaf cake and a pound cake. I know what we're having for very, breakfast tomorrow. They feel morning. very soft and sticky. Yeah, we'll definitely have these. Uh, we'll have these tomorrow morning for mm -hmm. our breakfast. This they, is they what look we'll really have. Good. Uh, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Uh, Sarah and Heather, Nancy, thank you for taking Sarah to the store. <laughs> <laughs> for using a cabinet to store things for us. Um, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, you know there's going to be lots of videos to come. And Heather, thank you for sending us something that we've tried before and some new cereal to try. I can't wait to try it because it's, it's heavy. It's very, very and heavy. And I'll make sure she tries it with me. What is the one thing you're, out of all this from Sarah, just from Sarah, what is the one thing that you're looking forward to trying I the I didn't most? really pay attention to everything you got out. Um, the millionaire sounds pretty good. It all looks so good. The pie, the snack, the snack pie looks good, but I worry about snack pies. There's sometimes they're not very good. For a salty, probably that. For the sweeter, probably these intense things, these love cake things. I mean, everything looks it good. All looks good. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I forgot the Kentucky bourbon. That looks <laughs> good too. <laughs> it all looks good. So anyway, thank you all very, very much. So we have one more box to open from for you. This one is from uh, Scotland, and I have been expecting this one in the mail. This, um, I decided, I was putting the blog together just a while ago, and I decided that since it was gonna be well over an hour long for the blog, so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do a separate video for box openings. And I've had a couple of people tell me, I skip past the box openings. I don't watch them. So, because I feel like, because they've said, I'll see it when you review it, so I don't need to watch it. Now, a lot of you love the box openings. So, um, you know, but th since it was gonna be more than an hour, it's like, I better do it by itself. So, um, This is private. Okay. Yeah, I'm not allowed. I'm only allowed to say this is from Scotland. I'm not allowed to say anything else. That's okay. Double Max. Now we have had some of these. I wonder if we've had this one. You remember? Cherry, sour cherry. I'm not I sure. know. I will have to look this one up to from see. Germany. If we... Did if, someone send us some German? It seems like somebody, I know I've had that brand. Maybe Silke sent us that yeah, one. I don't, I don't know, know if we've had this one or not though, so I will check and see. Um, this was a really good brand, and it amazes me how they keep these so fresh in there, but they do. It's a croissant, I didn't oh, say. Didn't it has a uh, vanilla flavor and sour cherry filling. It's the same thing. This one got mushed. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. It still eats the same. Okay. These are Finny, Finny Licorice Wonder Mix. <gasps> yeah, they look like those oh my things gosh. you like. These are completely different. Those, the ones we have are licorice though. 
Yeah. Really? That's what they were considered. Yeah, oh. they considered them licorice. Okay. Mona sent us a special box. It was like a five pounds. Bag. It was huge. It was, was it five pounds? It was, big. it was like a five pound bag of candy because they only ship it in five pound bags of candy. It looked just like this. I'm going to get it up close because I want Mona to see this. It looked identical to this. See, Mona, if you're watching this, see those little pieces? And those were my favorite ones, were those red ones. Before you go on. I want to see where can... these are made. Made in Spain. I bet you these are the same ones. Could be. I don't know. They look they look very similar. They do. They look identical. Okay, I'll have Even to look the, up the, the six thing at the top. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's the same exact thing. It's the same colors and everything. Yeah. So we may have tried that, that but we we haven't tried that. Definitely have not tried this. Black currant. Black is, currant bite. Is that raisin basically. Yeah. That sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. That's There's very a, cool. another one of those cakes. I didn't see Coconut. Anything. Yes. Something, I'm smelling something that's, oh, it's this. It's open. Oh, pop loose. Some things get, some, ooh, that sounds like a Smells super, so good. super sweet cake. We will try that very soon. Yeah, some things yeah. get, the pressure gets, pops the bags open. Now, just so you will not see these reviews for a, a while. I'm behind on videos. I'm really behind, um, and you will just have seen where I got a box of stuff from Sarah, and I try to do them in order unless it's like something brand new. And or it's, it's gonna expire. Or it's, well, we try it. So like, I yeah, might try yeah. it tomorrow so that it doesn't expire, yeah, but you true. might not see it for three weeks. That's true. Um, so I just want you to know, yeah. yeah. What are, ooh, m and Sugar-free butterscotch drops and rhubarb and kester drops now jennifer nathan and mike sent us something rhubarb we did the video review with andrew so i will have to see if we've had i know this is probably killing you that i'm saying i wonder if we've tried some of these and have we i know that but trust me even if we have tried them it's just more for us to just enjoy without having mm -hmm. to do it we review. still appreciate it right oh yeah very much so don't be bummed out if we've tried things. Miller. Miller dark chocolate mint creams. Smooth mint cream covered in luxury dark chocolate. That I like a good, I like a good really mint. Really good. We've never tried those. These look interesting. Maynard's, now we have had this brand. Burns jelly, they're like gummy. Yeah, but we, we've had the Maynard's something else. Something Maynard's. But not these, not these definitely. Yeah, I'm thinking Kevin sent us some Maynards from Canada, I think. I think it was Kevin. Sensations. These are walkers, which are like um, oh, yeah. Lay's. And I've tried the Thai sweet chili chips. Chips. But, but these are peanuts. peanuts. Coated pe I've never seen It looks like they're coated in like a crust. Yeah, like a like an M&M. Oh, I can't wait. Like a crust of seeds. Those look awesome. They I wish we good. got those here. Right, these look really good. Ooh. Well, that one, that, yeah, this one looks good. Specialist, like the handmade Scottish tablet. So it looks like a fudge. Oh, it looks good. It looks like a toffee fudge. And Scottish macaroon. Yeah, yeah those look good. Those look delicious. I've never seen these or heard of these. All right, here's something for awesome. you for breakfast. Okay. Oh, uh, porridge. Porridge, maple flavor, maple syrup flavor porridge. And coconut and cocoa nib porridge. So we, you like oatmeal better than I do. I do, but you know what? We do oatmeal videos together. We'll have to try these together. I don't like it the same way you do them. I follow the directions and I'm, I make it the way it's supposed to be made. And I will follow the directions on these and I'm sure it'll be good. It'll probably be just like what you do. Watery. She likes it soupy. I do not like it soupy. Soupy. I'm wondering if these would be a good lunchtime review. Or if we'll try them together. Well, if we'll try them together. <laughs> trying to be a tyrant. <laughs> Being a buddy. I'm not. <laughs> He's like, you're going to send me to work just eating porridge. No, we'll, we'll try those together. I can't wait to try them. I like oats and stuff. I just don't like it. Thornton's good. Fabulous Fudge Milk Chocolate. We have definitely had this brand before and we have had some of their fudge. I don't know that we've had this one though. 
So that'll be good. And the picture looks absolutely delicious. We have had Magnum uh, Caramel uh, Crunch and Sea Salt Signature Chocolate. I do not know if we've had that one or not. Probably not. Uh, I will look it up to make sure. But we do like that brand. There's six of the same brand of candy bar. This Moser Roth. Okay, we have had this brand, but we'll check to see which ones we haven't had, and you know we'll review any that we haven't. This is the caramel, and these are huge. The <laughs> Look box. how big they are. That one's like dark chocolate, that one does. Sea salt, a milk chocolate. Ooh. Yeah, that sea salt is dark. Orange, orange. and almond. It's not good. Chili. Chili. Now, I'll, I like this one. Madagascan Vanilla. I cannot mm -hmm. wait. So, there you sent us so much Those are made stuff. by us. Oh. They, no, those are uh, certified. Yeah, Sorry, those are not different. the brand. This all looks so very, very good. Uh, I can't wait. I will, you, anything that we haven't tried, like I've said, we'll definitely try it. And you sent us a lot that we have not tried for sure. And even if we have tried uh, some of the things, like this, I'm almost positive that was the same brand. It's okay because we'll enjoy them because I know for a fact which ones of these that I like the best. Mm -hmm. um, and most of them I liked. I think the only ones we did like were the green ones. I don't remember. Specifically the green ones. So anyway, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed this video of just box openings. Before I go, I wanted to show you the things that we've had and the things we haven't had. We have had the bag looks empty because I've been I've, I've poured it out in front of me on the desk. Um, we have had these. They are literally the same brand and everything. Uh, they're called collisions, but they they have they have the same flavor everything same. So we have had these um, That's why I'm sitting here eating them uh, We've also had the Moser raw milk chocolate, but we haven't had any of the other ones So we, you still gave us five more to try which I think is awesome We've had a chili one, but it was cherry chili. So that'll be totally different uh, than this one uh, So we've had that and we have had the rhubarb and custard uh, Jennifer, Nathan, and Mike did send those to us. I remember that. And we have had the Fabulous Fudge. Um, we actually did a review of the Fudge. Uh, trying to see what it was. It was the milk chocolate and some other kind of... Um, here it is. We've had the milk chocolate and the special toffee milk chocolate. So it actually came in the same package as that. But now these, the reason why I was thinking we had these is because this brand, we had gotten some like little bagel crisps in this brand at the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. And so when I saw that brand, I had thought we had had these, but we haven't. So that's awesome. So those will be totally new. And the reason why the Magnum rang a bell is because we've had the ice cream, but we've never tried this. So you still gave us a ton of stuff to try. There were only one, two, three. There were only four things that we had had before. So I don't think that's bad at all. So we really, really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time.